time I recount my past and the lessons, I'm highly immersed in the value of making mistakes. Lesson 14, lessons from my past, on the 5th of October, 2020, as I spend time each day of October reading a chapter of Proverbs, and today it was warning against adultery, Proverbs 5. I used to feel superior because I felt I had enough academic qualifications, I'd felt I'd worked in enough institutions, learned the laws of the land and the world to feel superior. As time went by, I realized that the superiority I felt just exposed my insecurities. It exposed how insecure I was to reality. It exposed how insecure I was to who I was on the inside. It was just a mask. And this is a characteristic of most people who feel superior. They're afraid of the status quo changing. They want things to remain as they are so that they can maintain their misguided and misappropriated sense of superiority. You see, when the status quo changes, then they're fully exposed. The mask is unveiled and people can point fingers and they themselves can see a reflection of who they are. People who want the status quo to remain usually have a sense of superiority. They don't like it when their insecurities are exposed. And another characteristic is people who mentor you. After they see they've mentored you and you're actually beginning to excel and become highly successful, they begin to resent that. And yet a true mentor, someone who really values and wants the best out of you, would be elated at your success, knowing that that's a reflection on you, that you did your work so well. But there are people who mentor you and then put a ceiling above and stifle you. They don't want you to challenge, to question, to really grow. No, they want you to reach a plateau so that they are still in that sense of false superiority. Even God wanted the status quo changed. That's why he sent his prophets to speak to the leaders. He sent his people, go and speak to the nations. Tell them to change their ways. So who are you to feel superior over anyone? That's the message. God does not desire for any of you to be in a situation where people are superior over you at all. Their insecurities will be exposed. If you're in a position where people do not want you to excel, to grow, to challenge, to explore the potential you have and to maximize it and to live it fully, then you are in the wrong place. If people are mentoring you, but honestly, when they see you excelling and becoming highly successful, they begin to resent you and work against that, then that place is not for you. That is not God's desire for you. God bless you so much. I'm Beverly Nambozen Sengyumva. I change the landscape of communication by training in public speaking, especially for children and teenagers. Look me up at Rich Diction Enterprises Limited. Email us richdiction at gmail.com.